What's going on YouTube? Bert Cat 8 here. Joey, everyone calls me. Or if you're in this post office or you live in the area around me, it's Spidey. So, because I look like Spider-Man, apparently Tobey Maguire was what I... I don't know if I'm that handsome. <laughs> Pretty damn butt ugly, but that's okay. <laughs> so, two cards. Wonderful stuff going on. First off, I'm going to do cards first, and then I'm going to ramble on. So if you don't want to watch the second half, but it's cool stuff. If you want to know more about me, about the people I know and the, and the card community in general, hang on. We're going to have some fun. So come on, let's have some fun. Like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, come and join me. Um, first off, Special Hall of Fame cards came in to limited football. Seven of them. I think there's going to be four in plates and patches, and that's out. This week coming up? I don't know. I forgot what date. Maybe even tomorrow. I don't remember. But seven came out into limited, and I got the first one here. Number 26 out of 50. Inducted in the class of 2000, not, 2009? Is that... Now I feel really old. I just turned 41. Now I feel really old. But Mr. Rod Woodson in a Baltimore Ravens uniform. A little streaky on the auto, but that wasn't Panini's fault. So very nice. Uh, not a new one because I have been a Steelers uniform already. I'm more excited about the new guys that I haven't got yet before, but still very cool. I still have fond memories of Rod Woodson in a Baltimore Ravens uniform. And unlike um, others collecting the set, my personal opinions, I don't mind it. I don't mind them different uniforms because I'm telling a history of the player and the NFL, you know. If you, now, if you go as far, if they go as far as putting Jerry Rice, they already have two Jerry Rices, Oakland Raiders and Forty um, Niners. If they put him in a Seattle Seahawks uniform, then I might have a little problem with the stretch. That's a stretch. That'd be going over the top. There's no reason why we need that autograph. So, but Rod Woodson, Baltimore Ravens had a had some nice years with them. So there's two cards of the from Limited that I haven't seen yet of the Special Hall of Fame cards that I haven't seen. I haven't seen the Orlando Pace and I haven't seen the Jan Stenner rooted in the Packers uniform. Because I have, already have them for the Chiefs uniform. So be on the lookout for some few cards. But I have three more coming in of the seven already. I have I'll have four of the seven already purchased. So I'm still happy. Still love it. Still can't get enough of doing this. I love doing it. And then I have uh, a really nice card here. I wasn't expecting to get this one. I just kind of showed up out of the blue because I was talking to one of the guys from our Lambo Leap group. And um, Mr. Mike Marsh says, well, I, he says, what do you need? Uh, I uh, he says, show me what you got that's available and I will tell you what I need. It's easier that way. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff I don't have. There's a lot of stuff I do have, but there's a lot of stuff I don't have. So he dug this out. And this might be a, I mean, I've been a dupe for him, or I don't even know, maybe he just didn't want to do, I, I have to ask him if it was a dupe or not. But numbered 25 out of 25, a Bart Star Auto, all on sticker, now that's important on these, I've seen none of them, a lot of them had them off sticker. Bart Star Autograph from top 60th anniversary set, which was made in 2015. So beautiful, beautiful. And I might RCR this one. We're gonna we're gonna try it at the national. So it's nothing nothing crazy, but that card will be really nice. Got it for fantastic price. People people that work together a lot of times will often give great deals to each other. It's what happens, and that's a part of it. If I ever have anything that he needs, uh, or am I just an extra set of eyes for? People always say, "Well, I'm gonna give you this for scouting something out for me." If you find something, nah, man, I'm just, I, I enjoy finding it for you in the first place. So thank you, Mr. Mike Marsh. Uh, some people in that Lambo group, some of the nicest sons of guns you'd ever meet. So, and I enjoy, I enjoy everybody that uh, has the passion and has, you know, I, I'm not saying that I don't, like the low end mid end cards, actually, I do love them. I used to do them all the time. I just, if I 
did them now, I wouldn't be able to afford the stuff I need for this. So there's a lot of people in there that are like that, but I have my mind focus is on the star stuff. So when it comes to high end Packer stuff, I'm like right there. I mean, it's probably my, I, I'm trying to learn as much as most as about it as I can. Can I learn about low end stuff too? Absolutely, but I just don't, it's just the time. This, you, if you're a collector, you know how time consuming it is to, to keep up with your PC and the stuff that you have. At least for me it is. And I don't even, I don't have, my whole collection consists of about, I don't know, five or six boxes. But it's all stuff that I love. Nothing. I got rid of all the low end stuff. I got rid of all of it. I needed funds for what I'm doing now. So two cards. Uh, great additions. So very happy guy. Very happy guy. Um, other stuff going on. Hang on to this. This is. Uh, I really. I've been on Instagram for about. Oh what year and a half now. As I settle in for a story. And you're going to love stories. So I'm so... I'm so thankful to have people in this community that are... They're so focused. And I learned so much from both of these people. That uh, it was just... I, when something great happens to them. And I, th I think it was... I think it was um, a recognition. And it's recognition for just some crazy focus and determination for stuff and here's it is uh there's three guys that get together and do a podcast from instagram and there i i talked to one i actually bought a bar star autograph from one of these guys before so uh, it's it's instagram is hard to get interpersonal with because it's it just seems like scroll like move on move on move on so there really isn't any time to know the person at all and I really enjoy that. That's why I love YouTube so much. So it is nice, nice platform. And it's gotten me a couple of things that I would love. So I'm happy about it. But uh, I started it about a year and a half ago. Um, so I don't have all my collection on there. But they're doing, like, I, before I get into that, they were doing this podcast. And they, during this podcast, they mentioned and featured Drunk Trojan, which is Luke and this film I rated, which is Michael, two of my very close go-tos that I almost on a daily that I am uh, texting about something and we learn together and I love it. Uh, the knowledge these two individuals have is way beyond mine, way beyond it. I, I learn stuff all the time. I'm just happy they let me talk to them <laughs> because I feel stupid sometimes. These guys don't talk about Smartest people I uh, ever got to, like, card-wise. These guys are steel traps for memory of it. Love how they dig into it. So they got featured and mentioned uh, about their collections, how great their collection was. Now getting back to me, which I'm fa I, wanted to, I wanted to watch it so I, or listen to it, so I listened to it. And at the end of it, they just they got just got done mentioning Luke. It had about thirty minutes to go left in the podcast. So I said I'll listen to the rest of it. It was a Sunday. I had nothing else better going on, so it was an hour and fifteen minutes long total. So I was listening to the whole thing, you know, getting to learn about stuff along the way, and there, and the knowledge other people have blows my mind. I was listening. I love stuff like that, so. They said, well, right now we're going to do some people that we didn't mention, but we don't have enough time to mention. And here comes my name. And another friend of mine uh, comes across. They say, Burkhead 8. And that's what my handle is on on, on, you, on Instagram if you want to go check it out and, and follow. Uh, I won't flood the your feed uh, just yet. I will be showing a lot of stuff, though. It's just going to take time. But they mentioned me, I'm like, and I was honored. And I thought to myself, they mentioned me and what I've already posted. I've been there a year and a half. When I first posted, I had about, I already had 65 autographs that I didn't show that are in my collection, just in autographs. I haven't shown just what I, I haven't shown the entire Spectra Hall of Fame set. I haven't showed my 
my very small but very quality Packers collection. So I messaged the guy and I said, thank you for the mention, uh, message. But I said, you guys were impressed by what I've showed so far, but you guys have no idea. I'm not like I'm trying to flex and be like superhuman best collector in the world. No, I enjoy it. And I like, if people want to look at it, fine. You know, if you don't, it's okay. Uh, I'm not, I just, I enjoy it. And I, and I, if you want to see cards that you normally don't see, I have a few of those. It's pretty impressive in some things that I, I'm proud of it, but I'm not like trying to like say I'm better than you. I don't want to feel it, make anyone feel that way. I love the way everyone collects. Not everyone has to collect the same way. It'd be stupid if you did, you know? So I was just honored to be even mentioned. I'm like, thank you. You know, you really think the stuff, my, they must think I have high quality stuff more than volume because I really don't have the volume I used to have. I sold a lot of stuff. So impressed. So what you'll see me, see me, see me doing in the future is posting a lot of stuff that I haven't shown before. So I'm going to get into that. So I'm, I was honored and humbled that they thought just a little bit that I have shown was wow, ver wow quality. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'm glad they got to feature a couple of guys that, uh, that I talk to constantly. And James Grimes got his name in there for the Leroy Butler stuff alone. Wonderful human being. So close people that I knew that was in there. I'm very, very honored to even be mentioned. So if they think that's a wow and I, and I haven't even shown a third of what I had, maybe it's only about 10% of what I have. So cool stuff. And the last thing, I I'm, it might be a shorter video for me. It's only 12 minutes long. Piece of cake. Last thing I want to mention, YouTube has gone in like to drama mode because of one certain video. Uh, I have my vantage point. It's <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Your cards do what you want with them. Totally agree. Uh, but, um, and I'm not the, the sharpest tool in the shed. And I've said that many times. I did not see the humor in it. Uh, I seen a backhanded way of telling someone how they should collect. And I hate that. And hate's a strong word, but I hate that. That's the one thing I that I do not tolerate in, uh, in collecting. Don't tell someone backhanded or to their face, that's not the way you should collect. Try to, um, if they're having troubles doing what they're already doing and you're like, hey, this is what I did. You can follow it. You can take it with a grain of salt. You don't have to do anything. Uh, but it's what helped. This is what I did. And I, this is why I enjoy it the way I do, but you're not me. So you don't have to take advice. Uh, but I thought it was happy horse shit. Uh, I was insulted and I don't even collect low end stuff at all right now. So I don't, I didn't not see the humor in it. Someone would have to explain it to me. But since then, this particular video, which lasted maybe a day, less than a day, was taken down. Now, if you thought, if that per individual thought it was all in fun and whatever it was, you did not think about anything. The word we're going to use today, and just take a breath before you do something like that again. Anybody, me included. Uh, tapped. T-A-C-T. -T, tapped. Did you not think you were going to insult people in a backhanded way? That's my question. Um... 
I really don't know the intentions. And like I says, I might be interpreting it totally wrong. But for me, being the way I was looking, I'm like, this is gonna, this is gonna come back, and it's gonna come back hard. And that's their supporters for it too. I understand everyone has a different viewpoint, and I don't don't hate different viewpoints. But someone would have to explain it to me because I didn't see how this was going to make... You might... It, I just don't see the, the, the funny in it. In a roundabout way, you told someone because they liked something cert, certain product that is wrong to like it. Or wrong way, wrong to way to collect like that. No, I hate that. I don't use the word hate a lot, but I hate that. In a roundabout way, you told someone how to collect. The way they collect is stupid in a roundabout way. Now, if he thought, if he was proud of that video, it'd still be up. But he's not. Did he know the backlash he was going to get? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I use, think before you do something. Tapped. Hacked. I don't have nearly the amount of subscribers this person has, but Jiminy Christmas, what the heck was that? <laughs> but if you want to explain it to me in person or whatever it is, I'll be free to listen. But. <laughs> Wow. That was dumb. <laughs> but I hope you I, I learn from it. Learn from it. A great apology would be great because you did like put your nose you put your uh, stuck your nose in the air to uh, half a way half of a collectors collect. <laughs> You're not going to be my ambassador to, to card anything. Uh, the way that went down, you might be the nicest human be person, human being in the world, but that wasn't thought through at all. Yes, I understand you can do what you want with your cards, but if you're going to do something controversial like that, don't show it to everybody. If that's the way you feel, I don't know, tell me what I was supposed to learn from that. Tell me what was supposed to be funny. Maybe I just don't get it. Okay. That's the end of that. So thanks everybody for watching. Love you guys. Take care. And I'll see you soon. I got some Spectra Hall of Fame cards coming in. The Pat Mahomes aren't ready yet. It's going to be a little bit yet. But that's okay. It is okay. I'm not worried about it. It's out of my control. I just, at this point, two tens would be nice. <laughs> that would be great. Love you guys. Take care. See you next time. Tack.